वेलकम बैक एवरी वन कैसे आप लोग मेरा नाम आकाश एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल भी टॉकिंग अबाउट वेब सॉकेट एंड सॉकेट डॉट आई एट दी एंड वी विल ऑल्सो डू अ स्मॉल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सॉकेट डॉट आई विद रिएक्ट आगे बढ़ने से पहले फ्रेंड्स एक छोटी सी बात आप वीडियो पर ना ही लाइक कर रहे हो ना ही उस पर कमेंट कर रहे हो सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक दी कॉन्टेंट तो प्लीज़ उसे लाइक कीजिए एंड प्लीज़ कमेंट कीजिए एंड प्लीज़ मेक इट अ हैबिट ठीक है सो फ्रेंड्स वॉट इज़ वेब सॉकेट इफ आई टॉक इन जे एस टर्म्स सो वेब सॉकेट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट जो कि हमें एक एपीआई प्रोवाइड करता है एंड इन रिटर्न दैट एपीआई प्रोवाइड्स अस द रियल टाइम एंड बाय डायरेक्शनल कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन द क्लाइंट एंड द सर्वर ठीक है सो होता क्या है जो हमारा क्लाइंट होता है इट रिक्वेस्ट इट मेक्स एन एच रिक्वेस्ट टू द सर्वर और सर्वर उसको रिस्पॉन्ड करता है 101 जीरो वन स्विचिंग प्रोटोकॉल दैट इज डब्ल्यू एस वेब सॉकेट ठीक है मैं आपको यहाँ पे दिखाता हूँ नेटवर्क पे ठीक है सो आई होप मेरी स्क्रीन विजिबल होगी आपको तो अगर हम यहाँ पे देखें सो वॉट इज़ हैपनिंग वो हेयर यहाँ पे हमारे जो क्लाइंट है उसने एक एच रिक्वेस्ट करी हमारे सर्वर को ठीक और जो हमारे सर्वर है वो क्या करता है 101, ठीक है 101 स्विचिंग प्रोटोकॉल ठीक यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कनेक्शन अपग्रेड रिस्पॉन्स एड्रेस में क्या लिखा है कनेक्शन अपग्रेड द कनेक्शन हैज़ बिन अपग्रेडेड फ्रॉम एच टू डब्ल्यू ठीक है सो द क्लाइंट रिक्वेस्ट द क्लाइंट मेक्स एन एच रिक्वेस्ट टू द सर्वर एंड सर्वर रिस्पॉन्स विथ वन स्विचिंग प्रोटोकॉल दैट इज डब्ल्यू ओके सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द पॉइंट वेयर द हैंड चेकिंग टेक्स प्लेस ठीक फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स द क्लाइंट एंड द सर्वर कैन कंटिन्यू एक्सचेंजिंग मैसेजेस बिटवीन ईच अदर अनटिल एंड अनलेस वन ऑफ देम ड्रॉप्स ओके सो दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेब सॉकेट नाउ फ्रेंड्स वॉट इज सॉकेट डॉट आई ओ सॉकेट डॉट आई ओ इज नथिंग बट वी कैन से इट इज बिल्ट ऑन टॉप ऑफ द वेब सॉकेट इट इज काइंड ऑफ अ रैपर ओके एंड इट इज अ लाइब्रेरी बेसिकली इट हैज टू पार्ट्स वन इज क्लाइंट साइड लाइब्रेरी एंड वन इज सर्वर साइड लाइब्रेरी so if i talk about uh, let's take this scenario if i i am taking this react as my client and node as my server okay so we have socket.io as a npm package for server and we have socket.io client as npm package for react okay so friends uh, let's talk about the features some of the features that socket.io provides us okay over here as we can see it is a library that is basically providing us low latency bi directional and event based communication between client and server theek hai hamara client ho gaya jo ki request send kar raha hai server ko and server is just responding back to it okay so if i talk about its features so features mein hame yahan pe de rakha hai they have given us like http long polling fallback okay automatic reconnection basically it includes a heartbeat mechanism which periodically checks the status of the connection so friends these are all the features listed over here you can go through them one by one okay so friends uh, now let's move forward to the implementation of socket.io in react so friends this is our terminal and i have one directory basically socket app react now what we are going to do we are going to make two folders one for the server and one for the client let's do that quickly so friends now as we can see we have this client and we have this server now what we have to do we have to like Uh, do our npx react app command run that command in this client and in this we have to simply set up our node server basically npm init hyphen by so let's do that quickly okay inside this or friends what we can do we can simply run that command and it, it uh, like a uh, socket app client we can run a simple react command and it will make us uh, this directory just remove it socket app client sorry it's actually rmdir okay cool so we have actually removed it what we are going to do we are simply going to run this command so friends cool we have successfully created the client so we have this folder uh, socket app client in which our react is initialized and set up and now we have to do is let's go into socket app server now inside this we simply need to initialize the package.json so for that we have to simply run this command npm init hyphen y cool now what we have to do uh, let's get into the vs code so friends as we can see now 
we have this socket app client inside which we have this react setup uh, this is a packet.json okay and inside this we have this socket app server which simply contains this package.json and nothing else okay cool so what we can do now let's first of first of all uh, quickly okay just give me a second uh, we are going to open two terminal inside one simply okay so this one is for socket app react okay so yeah let's get into socket app client socket app client so this one is for client and an okay and another one will be for server cool so all the server related stuff will be done over here and client related stuff will be done over here cool now what we are going to do we are going to simply run two commands one is the package for socket server and one is the package for client so friends in server let's run this command npm install socket.io cool so we have added this dependency that is socket.io now let's go to client over here we need to install this dependency that that is socket.io hyphen client cool so friends we have these two dependencies over here also i guess yeah we have socket.io dash client now what we are going to do let's first um, let's first uh, give our focus to server so in server simply create one file that is index.js this will be the file for the server okay index.js so let's quickly write the code over here and we are going to run it uh, like one more thing that i'm going to do is uh, quickly install nodemon basically nodemon will uh, look for all the changes that we are going to make to our file so yes it will help us so friends what we are going to do first is we have to import server from socket.io yeah so cool here our server comes from socket.io now what we are going to do so friends let's quickly instantiate the server const io equals new server and let's see what it takes so the server takes it it will take http server or we can provide it a port number also so we can we can either make some http server over here or we can simply provide the port number on which it will be running the server cool now what we have to do now we have to add basically event handlers like we will be listening on the events and we, we can also emit some values to the client so let's first of all listen to the event and we can listen to the event using on okay basically we are actually adding an event listener so let's listen to this event that is connection and we are going to get some we are going to pass some callback function over here and it takes socket basically an object and now inside this what we can do we can actually using this socket we can emit some action also like what we want to emit to the client so let's suppose i want to emit uh, some welcome message to the client like welcome to this channel welcome to the channel cool one more thing what we can do we can also listen to the message that client has emit uh, let's suppose client will be emitting the message uh, on message event basically this is the event on which we are listening and this is the event that we are firing so over here what we can do we can pass a callback function again this is the callback function that we are going to trigger and over here we are going to get this data and what we are, what we can do over here we can simply do the log uh, that is message from client cool so friends um so friends this is the server that we have created now let's go to the client side and code the client part so friends this is our app.js file i have just simply added a logo over here socket logo let's do the npm start cool so our page is working uh, now let's first what we are going to do we are going to import io from socket io client it will help us in initializing the connection import io from socket.io dash client so over here let's init the connection on socket equals io and over here what we are going to do we will be requiring to add the address of our server so let's see on which port we are running it it is 3001 so let's add its address cool so this is the address of our server http uh, colon slash slash localhost colon 3001 and what we are doing over here is we are initializing the connection 
now friends uh, we will be uh, doing all our stuff inside the use effect so let's uh, write the use effect okay so we have not imported it let's import it cool now what we are going to do is let's write the boilerplate for use effect okay cool now inside this we have this socket instance and with the help of this socket what we can do we can listen to the connect we are listening to the connection and while we are listening to the connection what we can do over here we are listening to that connection that we are making to the server now we can listen to all the messages that the server is sending to us like so server has emitted this welcome so what we can do using this socket we can listen to it actually like socket dot on welcome and we can listen to the data that is coming from the server and over here we, we will simply do the log uh, that is this is the message from server so cool message from server data now what we can do um, we can also send a message from client to the server so as we have taken over here uh, this event basically we are listening to this message event from client so we have to emit this event and we can say that thanks for connecting cool a simple message so i hope it should work we have simple use effect in which we have written like this we are actually listening to this connect event and then on this particular welcome event what we are doing we are looking for this data from the server okay and we can also emit any message that we want to send to the server and over here also what we have done is simply uh, like made this connection and uh, emitted few messages and like listen to the message from the client so let's write down some comments uh, like over here we are uh, like receiving a message from the server and over here what we are doing we are actually sending a message send a message to the server one more thing friends uh, this will work as component did mount as we all know what we can do we can also return a call back that is unmount and inside this what we can do actually is we can do socket dot off okay and we can also do the socket dot off on uh, this uh, connection like we are actually removing this listener over here we have added the event listener over here we are removing the event listener so friends now let's run our server and see if it is working or not so to run the server what we need to do is node index okay and it gave us error what it is saying is to load an es module set type equals module in the package.json okay let's see if it works now so friends it has not given us any error it means it is still running so our server is running over here and this is our client okay cool so what we can do let's try to reload the page and let's see if we get some thing on the server okay new server 3001 let's check what is going wrong what is the problem so friends as we can see it is saying that the request that we are making basically the request that we are making to this server 3001 has been blocked by cause so we have to solve this cause policy basically that is cross origin so how we can do that over here we need to pass few more parameters that is we have to pass an object of course inside which what we are going to do is to provide it like let's for now what I'm going to do is providing I will be providing it star that allow all the origins uh, now let's see if it works and over here also yeah cool so friends as we can see 
uh, okay over here yeah cool as you can see um, now we are getting the request fulfilled and we are not getting any error and we have also got this message from server that is welcome to the channel as we can see over here that the server has emitted it uh, like on welcome event like welcome to the channel and let's also see if we get the message from the client or not over here okay cool so friends as you can see we have also got this message thanks for connecting from the client so friends yeah one more thing like if you want to know uh, this is the part we have we have been like we have set up our client and server both now if now one thing that is a bit confusion uh, like confusing over here is that you do not know that whether the server is running or not yeah now we got the message from the client but what what you can do is you can also like give me a second like you can import this create server from http and what you can do now is you can like simply create the server and you can pass that server over here http server and what you can do is uh, http server dot listen on port number let's suppose 3001 and you can pass it a callback okay over here what we can do we can simply say listening on port 3001 good so if you want to like let's see if it also runs or not cool so as you can see over here it has shown us that listening on port 3001 so friends i have shown you two methods of how you can set up a server okay so one is using this latest one that i've shown you like create server and you can what you can do you can create this server and you can simply pass that server over here because it takes server and port number and then you can simply do http server dot listen on port this and you can say this like console log listening to port 3001 at least you can get to know that yes your server is running okay so one method was this and uh, yeah and the another method was simply uh, passing the port over here okay so both the uh, both the methods work for us and the rest part is handled by socket.io only as like uh, listening to the connection sending to the message from server to the client and same we have done over here also we have initialized the connection first that is by passing the server address then in use effect we are simply adding the event listener and we are like receiving the message from the server and sending a message to the server and in this we are simply removing the event listener okay so friends cool uh, over here we have received the message from client and over here we have received the message from the server okay so friends, uh, this is it for this particular video. I hope um, I was able to like make you understand this, the concept of socket.io and the connection between the client and the server using socket.io. And friends, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And please don't forget to comment if you have loved the content. Thank you for watching. We'll be meeting in next video.